So today we're zooming in on Bergen County's housing market for Q1 of 2024 and discussing the recent consumer price index results and what they mean for rate cuts in the coming months. First, let's look at Bergen County's real estate activities for Q1 of 2024. For single family homes, there are almost 150 fewer homes to hit the market this year in Q1 versus last year at the same time. And we thought last year we were tight on inventory. Homes sold very quickly, averaging just 39 days on the market. And the median sale price for single family homes was significantly higher at $715,000, marking a 10% increase from last year. Not surprisingly, they sold an average of 100% of the list price, which happens when there is so much demand for homes in Bergen County. Now for condos, co-ops, and townhomes, there were 250 new listings, but again, lower than the same time last year by about 50 um, units. The median sale price was 473,000, down only about 1% versus last year. Now let's talk about the consumer price index. The latest numbers were released this week. Prices rose by almost a half a percent in March. The key drivers of this increase were the index for shelter or housing and the index for gasoline. Now, what does that mean for rate cuts? Typically, a high CPI rating, reading, which suggests higher inflation, would put pressure on the Feds to raise interest rates in an effort to cool inflation. However, there's always a balance to strike, and as raising rates could slow down economic growth. This month's CPI reading was higher than everyone expected, suggesting the Fed might proceed cautiously with rate adjustments to manage inflation without hampering economic recovery. But no one is expecting rates to come down anytime soon. For those looking to buy in Bergen County, this could mean a relatively stable mortgage rate environment in the near term. But as always, it's crucial to stay informed on market trends and forecasts. Until rates come down, we're still going to be faced with tight inventory in Bergen County. And with so low supply and high demand, prices will probably continue to increase. And thus the CPI index or the CPI will reflect that. So we will continue to be in this type of market at least until the later part of the year. So that's the Q1 market update for Bergen County. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.